Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to my channel, Ask Jimmy Smith. Today, I'm excited to be talking with you about a way to track some of the arbitrage products that you find just in the normal course of doing your Amazon FBA business. As you go through, and you whether you do retail arbitrage and you're just looking for different variations of products that you can send in, or you're doing online arbitrage and you're rabbit trailing, so to speak, and finding new listings that maybe you just want to keep track of. Maybe they're new listings that you want to see how they do moving forward, or maybe they're just different variations of a particular product that you're already selling, I'm going to show you how you can actually track those products in an easy, predictable manner and add them to a shopping list if you're using uh, the software program called Replen Dashboard, which I have a whole playlist on on this YouTube channel if you'd like to check out Replen Dashboard. And so today we're going to be discussing how to track Amazon FBA arbitrage leads with Replen Dashboard. And I'm particularly going to be using uh, Altoids Wintergreen because uh, I had it right here and I figured why not show you that. Uh, and so it'll be kind of a just a regular experiment of, of what I would be doing if I had this either at my home and I'm looking to find new products that I want to sell. Maybe I'm a new seller and I don't even know what to sell. So I'm just looking around my house for stuff and I come across this and I want to start tracking some of these leads. Or maybe I actually already sell Altoids Wintergreen and I'm looking for a bunch of other listings that I can also list on for that product uh, or similar products. And so that's what we're going to be discussing today, uh, specifically using Replen Dashboard. Obviously, you can put things into any kind of a Google Sheet. But what's beautiful about Replen Dashboard is that it will track the pricing history of the product. It'll track sellers. It will track the sales rank of the product. It does all kinds of stuff. And you can actually add it to a mobile shopping list if you have shoppers that you want to go out to buy these products instead of, uh, you know, you having to keep keep it on some written down list or on a Google sheet, this will do that for you. And you, you can use the app to help manage that whole process and add it to a buy list, all that stuff. I'll show you that in this video. I personally believe it's an amazing tool to use to track what you need to restock, but also has this very underutilized feature of adding a product to your Replen dashboard software that doesn't get added to Amazon Seller Central, but you can track all the data that you need to while you are uh, finding some of these new leads. And so let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to show you real quick. Uh, I did an Amazon search for Altoids Wintergreen, just that simple, right? Go up here, Altoids Wintergreen, very simple. And you see a ton of different listings that come up. And just so you know, the way I did this is the basis for how we go about finding new listings for replenishable products. There's tons of information on this channel about finding replens, specifically with retail arbitrage and online arbitrage, so that you can take one product and you can have it on multiple different listings that you can sell on. And uh, let me just go through, I'm going to pick some that just seem like a good one. Most of these are case packed and more than likely won't be something that we can sell. As you can see, I've got this extension here. It's a free extension. It's called DS. So as in David, S as in Smith, DS Amazon Quick View. This is the free version. And it tells you, hey, Amazon selling these things. Are there other FBA sellers selling this? And so I like to have this. So I'm going to select some though that don't have Amazon on there because typically we aren't going to compete with Amazon uh, very often. And so I'm going to just scroll down here and you can see here the first ones that kind of pop out. There's eight FBA sellers on this pack of four for this exact size of Altoids. There are five FBA sellers on this pack of six. There are three FBA sellers on this pack of two. And then there's one on this pack of 12. And so we've got a, a bunch of different options. If I were to keep scrolling, we can look for bundles if we wanted to find ones that were uh, both wintergreen and peppermint, as you can see here, we could just do this for days. But if I wanted to use Replen Dashboard, and I wanted to start tracking these things. Let's say that I found these and I wanted to ultimately go out to the store and check them uh, to, to purchase them. I wanted to tell my shoppers, hey, we want to buy this new ASIN now. You could technically go in here, analyze the product, and then take this ASIN itself, come over to Replen Dashboard if you've got your account, and click this plus sign, which says add product. Now, currently, whenever you're tied into Replen Dashboard, you've got all of your products from your seller central that come into Replen Dashboard. And, and it tells you what you should be replenishing and gives you profitability metrics and all of that, that stuff, right? I can see the profit and ROIs for all my different products. And this is a demo account, just 
to, to be clear. Uh, you can see the profit and ROI is all the different data. But if I want to track a new product, how do you do that? You click this little plus button and you enter the product ASIN. Now you can do multiple ASINs. So I'm just going to do, uh, you know, maybe three or four of these different ASINs at once. So that way you can see how it works. When we go back here, let's say that I want to start tracking this one as well, because it ends up being good. And I would come back over here and I could uh, separate it by a space or a new line. So I'll do it by space. Come over here. Let's track this one as well. And I actually don't know if these are good, uh, but I just want to show you how this works. I'm going to do one last one over here, which is this one. Now, when we're done with that, we can just click on the add button. All four of those listings pull up. And what you can then do is click on save. And so it takes it a little bit to uh, pop, populate it into your uh, inventory section. You can actually typically, if you're doing a bunch of them, it might take a little while, but I'm going to pop over here and then click proceed and it'll basically refresh it. Stay here and hopefully if I search Altoid, see all four of those pulled up. So you can see the different listings. Uh, one is that 12 containers per box. This is the two tins. We've got the six count and we also have the pack of four. But what's really interesting, what you can do now is you can actually see that these don't connect to your seller central. And the reason they don't is because there's no SKU. So you know that there's no merchant SKU on it. So it's not connected to your seller central at all. We're just tracking it on the replen dashboard side. But you can also scroll over here and you can see it shows the, uh, the current price of what we would be selling it at based off the buy box. We just pretend that that's your price. That's what we're going to be selling it at. Let's say each of these, uh, let's see, were a dollar for a tin. So this one is two tins. I could put in two dollars there. This one is six tins. I'll put in six dollars. And this one is four tins. I'll put in four. I believe this one was 12. So I'll put in $12 there. Well, what it does is it starts calculating the ROI and the profit for you. And so it's immediately there available. You can hover over it and see what the uh, profitability is for that particular product. And what it also does is gives you the ability then to uh, send it to your shopping list. So all these new ASINs you just added, you can see there's a one in the buy quantity. So it actually sent it to the mobile shopping app telling your shoppers that, hey, we want to buy one of these. Now, if you want to buy more than one, you could enter that information in here. Let's say you wanted to buy four of these and you wanted to buy two of these and you wanted to buy five of these. And this one was six. I believe I put two for that one. So all of that will populate. It should come over to the Replen Dashboard mobile app. You can see all of those are here immediately. They, they sync up together. So you've got two, four, five, and six. And then your shoppers will see that. They'll be able to add it to the buy list. And ultimately, you can add it to your shipments in the future. And there's plenty of videos on how to do all of that on this YouTube channel if you want to check it out. But this is what I love about it because you could add items that maybe are brand new. Let's say you found a listing that is 30 days old and you don't really trust the history of it yet, but you want to keep tabs on it. You want to track it so that in the future, maybe 60 days down the road, you can see if it's actually still doing well. Well, in this case, you can add something to Replen Dashboard that's then going to track not just the profitability, the cost. You can put in where you found it. So you've got a supplier for it as well, right? here. You can also put in an OA buy link if it's something that you can buy online arbitrage. And then when that time comes that you want to purchase it, you can then just go to that store or click that OA link and buy it because you realize that now it's good because it's got enough of a history and the price hasn't tanked and it's actually been selling more and more. But what you can also do with Q4 coming up, uh, you can actually start adding listings for Q4 that maybe you want to track that did well last year. And you, uh, you can tell that by Keepa charts. So if you look for, let's just say, uh, holiday time products, which are typically that's, that's Walmart's branded uh, fourth quarter Christmas type products. They're called holiday time. That's the brand, at least as of the recording of this video. You could start sourcing holiday time products now on Amazon add a bunch of ASINs that you want to track. And then as the sales start picking up for that, you'll be able to see how is the price doing. You can also hover over this and see how the sales rank is doing. And so if the sales rank is getting better or not, there's so much information that you can do. And I highly recommend using this to track all of your arbitrage leads, whether it's retail or online arbitrage, because then you don't just put them in a Google sheet that then you have to click back through and check. It's actually updating all the data real time for you. You can click through and see how the Keepa chart is holding up 
at any particular time. Uh, you can mark them as replenishables if they're meltable, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you can even track meltable products if you find new ones and you're waiting to send them in until the meltable deadline lifts on October 16th. As of the time of this recording, we're not into meltable season yet. Uh, so you can use this plus sign feature for a lot of different use cases. And very soon, so I'm in the beta side of Replen Dashboard where you can see uh, if it's a single or a multi-pack or a bundle. Uh, but ultimately, very soon, you'll be able to say, oh, this actually requires two of these. This listing requires four of these. This listing requires six of these. And you can tie them all together and it'll actually create one shopping list line item that says, oh, well, you need six, four, and two. So you actually need 12 individual packets of these things and it will split it up for you. So there's a lot of cool things coming. You can see the multi-packs and bundles section within Replen Dashboard that is going to be out very soon. And I just really wanted to uh, to show you how this works because it's a, a key feature. Even if you don't use the multi-packs and bundles, which can get, uh, you know, right now it's a newer feature. It's going to be something that I do more videos on moving forward. Even if you don't use the multi-packs and bundles, you should still be using this to track all of the items that you want to to uh, see how it's doing moving forward, right? If you wanna track specific leads or if you just wanna add them to your shopping list to buy now with your retail arbitrage shoppers. The way that you can also see them, let's say I go to buy quantity and I say, I wanna see everything over one. Let's say you just wanted to track it. You didn't necessarily want to, um, you didn't necessarily want to add it to your buy list yet. You could just put zero in this uh, and it's gonna clear them out very quickly because it dynamically updates and I've got it filtered to over one. But uh, there we go. There's that one. So I could clear all of these out. And then it would just be something that Replen Dashboard is tracking for us. And in the future, once that's loaded, I will undo that. And I could just search for Altoid, right? Or the other way I could do it is I could also come over here. I could put in the notes section. I could put tracking. Um, tracking. Oh, I got to spell it right. You can't do that wrong. There you go. Tracking. Tracking. Tracking, and that way you know that whenever you decide you want to look at all the items that you're tracking, you come over here, go to the notes section, type in uh, tracking, and all of those items will be showing up so that you can say, all right, let's reevaluate those things that I've been tracking so that I can decide if I want to purchase them or not. It's such a beautiful way to use this software. It's just an additional thing. Not only does it will it help you to manage your replen list, you can send things to the mobile app for people to shop from. You can use it for your OA purchase links so that you can just buy directly from the software, click the link and buy it in the online arbitrage site that you're typically purchasing from. But you can also track these extra things. I love this software. Obviously, I'm a little biased considering I helped start it, but that means that you're getting a lot of the cool things that I've wanted to see since we started in December 2015. So if you're interested in Replen Dashboard, you can head over to replendashboard.com to get your free trial. Uh, there's a 30-day free trial currently, and we're actually going to be changing it up soon so that you can potentially even have a more extended free trial if you're a brand new seller. But right now it's a 30-day free trial. Also, if you're interested in any kind of Amazon training that I do from my course to my private Facebook group, as well as a Facebook group with a friend of mine, Ryan Rieger, who has a lot more content on additional streams of income and a much more family-like atmosphere, you can over head over to amzlegends.com forward slash replens combo. But ultimately, I hope that this video helped you see how you can track these Amazon FBA arbitrage leads using Replen Dashboard. If you decide not to use Replen Dashboard, at least get a Google Sheet put together where you're tracking these products that you have maybe a virtual assistant or yourself or a kid of yours, somebody go through and double check these things weekly or on a specific uh, time, time scale, right? You want to make sure that it's a regular thing, whether it's weekly, every other week, every month, whatever it is for you. But at least have something to track those leads that you aren't ready to buy yet. Replen Dashboard makes it seamless and helpful. And I hope that this helped you and blessed you. And I hope you have a great rest of your day and a blessed rest of your week.